guys, I'm here and I want to do a review for you. This is going to be on some of the J. Manuel items that I got from the house party a couple of months ago. Um, I don't have everything here because I had given some palettes and some items away during the house party as well as um, I did a swap with somebody and I gave her a couple of things from there as well. But I think that they're probably all comparable. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the things that I still have and what I thought about everything. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is the eyeliner. I still have a bunch of these eyeliners left. Um, so I think when I do the giveaway coming up, I'll go ahead and put it in there, but before warned, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the, the eyeliners itself. I didn't really care for them, to be honest with you. But you know, if you wanna try it out, I'll go ahead and throw this into the giveaway that I'm gonna be having. Um, it's either up or it's coming up. So the eyeliner is a very black eyeliner. It's in the color Wicked. It's really nice. It applies nicely, but it doesn't stay put. It moves all over the place. It doesn't stay, it doesn't set. Sometimes they move initially so you can kind of smudge them out. This one, it just moves all the time. It, and it causes you to have to raccoon eyes. That rarely ever happens to me, but with this, it's just not good at all. I'm wearing white pants today. Make sure I clean all this stuff off of me before I get anything on my white pants. So um, you can see that this stuff just smears all over. My first little swipe through was just very light, just barely touching the skin, barely, barely touching the skin. And then the second one, you can see it was much harder. So um, the eyeliners are a no-go for me. Next is going to be on the mascara. This mascara is supposed to be unique as um, you can turn this little knob and it will extend the mascara one which you're probably not going to be able to tell on camera but what happens is that when you turn it one way it makes it wider and then you turn it the other way and it makes the one shorter so you can get lengthening if it's longer or thickening if you make a shorter wand um, the mascara is nice I like it um, it's just it's a nice mascara now everything here ranges between 30 and up so it's quite pricey Okay, um, this is one of the blush palettes that I have. This one is in Bella, and I really, really enjoy the blush palettes, to be honest. Okay, so when you pop it open, it's going to have a little brush that sits in here, which I haven't used, and then when you pop it open like this, there's the mirror, and then there's the blush. So this particular blush is like a, a peachy pink blush. It is really nice. I love the way the blushes apply. If there's anything in this collection that I was able to try out that I really liked is the blush is one of them. So you can see it's got a lot of pigment, um, but when you pick it up with your brush, it gives a really nice pinky flushed color. Um, it's it does blend out very very nicely it looks really nice once you get it onto your cheeks so I would recommend the blushes it has a tiny bit of a sheen to it not much so this one is a pinky one and um, again I like this one too this is a more bold colored pink blush and I have it's a little bit wet still so you can see if this is just you know straight on like this but if you have your blush brush it's not going to be so bold this one gives a really beautiful flushed pink um color to your cheeks it's really really nice so this one i really like this one it, it really looks like you just went into the sun and your cheeks are kind of red like that flushed look so again this one is in the color awake um, oh i have another blush still i thought i gave all the other blushes away okay this one is in the color escape every time i say that word escape it reminds me of uh, finding nemo yeah this one you can tell i've used this one a lot i really 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 enjoy this uh, again i like all of the blushes so this one is just more like an orangey kind of coral blush and let me use a part that is not wet so there's that one and again as i said with the other ones if you use your blush brush, it's obviously not going to be so bold, and they do give such a pretty color to your cheeks. Um, I really like it. You can also use them on the lips. You can put like some lip balm on and then put some of this color onto your lips. It's really nice. So the blushes were a definite win. Okay, 
The only lip color that I have left, I think I got three or four of them. This one is in the color Love Bite, um, and this is the only one that I personally have used. So I definitely didn't want to um, kind of, uh, what do you call it, like swap with somebody that had I had already used the lipstick. So um, it's a really nice packaging, let me put it correctly. Really nice packaging. All of the packaging is really, really nice. It has the color right here, and this is the top. Normally you see these colors on the bottom, but it's the top. Again, it's in Love Bite, so when you open it, it's just like this kind of a tube, and this color is really, really pretty. So that's with a bunch of swipes. Let me put one. So this one here is with a bunch of swipes on, and this is just one. I'll go ahead and put it on my lips now. Why not? So this is Love Bite. I love this color. This lipstick is really nice. Um, I gave a red one to my niece, and um, she's 20-something years old. Don't worry, she's my niece, but she's she's of age. And um, that red lipstick was all over her face. It was just here, like it when it touched her hair, it got, I mean, and it stained. So when it touched her hair and it went onto her cheeks, her she had lines, like red lines all over herself. It was just not good. That red lipstick was horrible. I haven't had that issue with this lipstick though. This color has been perfectly fine for me. Actually, um, this is the Skin Perfector. I, I still have a bunch of these shades left. Um, let me see. Most of them are the dark ones for deep skin tones. Um, let me see. And I have the lightest skin tone, which is almost like a white. And deep, deep 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 okay these four are the deep skin tones and then one of the very lightest light color um, and then I have this skin perfector number three this is I think this one is a little bit dark for me if I'm not mistaken um, but it comes with the most awesome kind of tube this is very very unique I really really like this container a lot the, this foundation it looks really nice on the skin. It wears really well. I really like the foundation as well. Um, this, again, the shade is a tad bit dark for me, but I tend to mix this one with another one, it, depending on the time of year it is. Um, but I just put a little tiny bit there. You can see how dark this one is. Um, but you can also see the coverage that it gives. It gives an excellent coverage, and it feels really nice and light on the skin. It doesn't really feel like you have makeup on. This really wears well, so I would recommend the foundation. Again, it's called a skin perfector, so you let it set for a little bit and it does um, dry on your skin. It's not gonna leave that wet, moist look. I know that's a dark color. That's not my color. I have mine inside uh, my bathroom somewhere. So these are the two shades that I kind of use depending on how my skin looks at the moment. Um, the lightest one is a little bit too, too light, and then this one can be just right or sometimes too dark, so I can mix the two together. Um, so I'm just going to put the darkest one here, a little tiny bit there, and then this one is the lighter one. This is medium filter number one and number two. So again, I just love that they're squeezy here. So um, you can just squeeze the um, makeup right out of it. Let me zoom you in. What the hell was that? Okay, so you can see the consistency. It's not watery, but it's not thick, thick either. Um, so this is the um, medium number one. This is the medium number two. So, and then if you just take them both and kind of blend them together, then I get my perfect shade. So you can see how nice of a coverage that it is. Um, so though that right there, I could probably do my whole face with it. It gives a really nice finish. It covers everything up. Okay, and the last thing that I have here is this quad. I gave the other two quads away. Um, so this one is in the color Crave, and it's got four shades in there. It's got the purple, like a skin tone, and this bronzy um, burgundy, not burgundy, but coppery color and then this dark blue. So I've used the whole palette before and it comes out really nice. Um, they do stay very nicely, however, 
um, they can rub off if you don't use a primer or anything like that. They may not last with you, so you do have to be kind of careful. But I'll go ahead and swatch these for you. They're very, very soft, very smooth. And let me show you. Let me get you. Let me put you up close and personal again. And I'm just very lightly pressing my fingers down. But if I press really hard, you can see the color that will come off of it. But the first swatches, they, my fingers were very light. So these are the colors right here. Very nice colors. They blend well together. They look really nice on the lids together. I just think it's a really great eyeshadow palette. Again, you have to be careful and make sure that you are using an eyeshadow primer with it because if you don't, they are not going to stay. They're going to move around just like the eyeliner moves around. So for that, um, it's a little bit uh -uh. but if you put it on right, you'll be okay. Um, overall, what do I think of the J. Manuel makeup line? Um, certain things are hit and miss, so it really just depends on what you really want, what you want to try. Um, again, the blushes, I really love them. The Skin Perfector is really great. Um, the lipstick, I probably wouldn't choose to get another lipstick just because I know that they can move around and they don't stay. And not that they just rub off, you know, but if you're going to drink something um, and you get it on the side of your mouth, it's not like any other lipstick. It's just the strangest thing. It, I just don't like that it moves around so much. And the mascara was worked well. Um, so just the eyeshadows are kind of meh and uh, the lipsticks are just like a no-go really. So if you have tried any of the J. Manuel uh, products, let me know what you think about them in the description. And um, yeah, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in another video. Bye. If every day is just a dream then who would I want to be? Today I think I'll be the queen Flying through a time machine Oh